as soon as you see it, then you have to guide your client from the place. And uh, what I'm trying to kind of point out to the guide of time. And uh, literally, you know, speaking, that uh, can all the expenses time can be improved uh, within the same space of experience. Uh, so what is being lost? Uh, can it be a condition for uh, uh, space which is regenerative? There are quite few pieces that you see. Uh, it's, the approach is uh, to be as plural as possible. Uh, but maybe talking about the same thing. And uh, that you'll see a lot of wood being used. But uh, the wood that is being bought, bought, bought from uh, uh, the second hand market and you know, a lot of the doors that comes from resale that I've been collecting for a while uh, that you know makes up for a lot of components in the show. Uh, but in a very different way here you see you know it's, it becomes a panel where there's a story uh, and a scarf and it becomes a kind of shrine that you're going to walk in and it kind of uh, is something there's, there's a sentence that says mortality uh, is something that uh, or uh, and, uh, and and I think it's it, like I said, it's to kind of approach the same idea of uh, variety in terms of its aesthetic choices. So you can see the text actually uh, it, it is particular at one level and it's also metaphorical. So it oscillates between those two positions constantly. And it could also something uh, that triggered off from my own experience, uh, um, either as a young man or a child. Uh, and uh, it could become also something which is which is generic to you know, a lot of other people's experiences of you know uh, of their childhood, or of their past. Uh, so in that sense, it becomes uh, not only my, uh, and it's also you know like by the end of it, it doesn't have a kind of conclusive ending. So it makes up for a Psychical reading in that sense. One may want to you know, go back to the beginning and start over all over again because it doesn't say there's no conclusion or, or a kind of you know, uh, very definite beginning. And what I do is I choose uh, colors of door, doors to match each other. Uh, so in this case, it's like a set of doors that probably came from one house. So it's in a way of including that untold history of that house into my work and make something else of it. These are broken chairs that I kind of collected from uh, the second hand market, uh, particularly from Shore Bazaar, where I kind of often go. And uh, for example, that first one is particularly an Irani chair that comes from Irani cafes, which is on its way to extinction now. I don't think, uh, I mean, it's a very thin line, you know, uh, when you talk about looking back. Uh, that you have to be very careful that it can, it's not presented in a manner that it becomes nostalgic. Uh, I am not lamenting the uh, loss of time at all in this case. So uh, it's uh, necessarily not nostalgic in that sense.